What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about some of my top crypto picks that I've been investing in during this market decline. We've all seen crypto tanking pretty hard and I'm sure tons of people are scared and have either stopped investing or have cashed out all of their investments at a loss. I'm not a financial advisor but personally I've been telling myself the complete opposite and think now is the best time to get into crypto since the largest gains can be made during the bear market. With all of this potential for high rewards comes some very high risk and it's the reason I always describe crypto as the wild wild west. Although I'm investing in a high risk space, there's always ways to manage and limit the risk associated with market volatility, which I'll be touching on in this video. You've seen me cover a range of projects here on Fire Hustle, from low risk to medium risk to high risk or degen opportunities and everything in between. In this video, I'll be covering three projects that I've been investing in during the bear market. I'll be going over what makes each of them unique, as well as the risk factors I've assessed for each of them. Before we get down to business, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Summer and I'd like to welcome you to Fire Hustle, where it's my mission to tell you everything you need to know about crypto projects in the shortest amount of time possible. If you want to help this video reach a wider audience, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can take advantage of all the work I've done. It really helps the channel and I would also really appreciate it. As always, I make a commitment to giving you my honest and unbiased take above all else. And remember, crypto is generally high risk and none of this is financial advice. My videos are a great starting point, but I definitely recommend you do your own research before deciding to invest. With that said, let's jump right into it. I'm going to start with a base risk management strategy that I've been using when investing in all three of the projects in this video, and that is dollar cost averaging or DCA. Dollar cost averaging is an investing strategy where you take the total amount you plan to invest and divide it into multiple purchases across a longer period of time. So let's say you plan to buy $5,000 worth of Bitcoin. Instead of buying that all at once, you split that into 10 payments of $500 every week. The total investment, divided amount, and payment frequency can all be changed based on your preferences. And the reason why we want to do it this way is because crypto has always been a volatile asset, so it's safer to spread out our investment across multiple price points rather than take the chance on a one-time purchase where we try to perfectly time the market. You might think you're investing at the bottom, but two weeks from now, it can drop even further. And if you DCA throughout a long-term decline like the one that we're currently in, your average price will be lower overall, which is a good thing if you're bullish on the future of crypto. Now that we have the strategy down, let's move on to my first crypto pick, Polkadot. Polkadot, founded by one of Ethereum's co-founders, Gavin Wood, is a network protocol that allows multi-chain data transfers. Essentially, it's the foundation that many cross-chain projects are built on, some examples being Akela DeFi, Phila Network, Kusama, Moonbeam, and more. The reason I picked Polkadot is because it has a high degree of real-world utility and there's lots of successful projects built on the platform with new developments being made consistently. The second reason is the recent news that the NFT platform Engine recently launched their parachain on the Polkadot network called Affinity, which brings over 160,000 NFT creators and over 100 diverse projects to the platform. And lastly, aside from Bitcoin and Ethereum, Polkadot is one of the top choices currently for crypto-focused funds and institutional investors. It has the highest number of large firms invested in it, with a total of 29 firms in comparison to Oasis Network having 24 and Solana having 13. Looking at the price chart of DOT, it's currently at around $7, a low that we haven't seen since the end of 2020, whereas its all-time high was over $50 in November of 2021. Of course, the price has been affected by the overall decrease of Bitcoin's value, which is heavily influenced by. It's important to note that the project is still fairly new and there's a lot of potential for it in the future, which is why I believe the current value is a great price point for me to start getting into the project with dollar cost averaging. My second pick for this month is Binance Coin or BNB. BNB is the native token for the Binance exchange and ecosystem. The exchange was co-founded by Changpeng Zhao or CZ in 2017. To date, the Binance ecosystem goes further than just an exchange and includes the Binance Smart Chain blockchain or BSC, Binance Academy, Trust Wallet, as well as research and launchpad projects. The Binance Smart Chain uses BNB to pay for transaction fees, token sales, and digital payments. Users of the Binance Exchange are also incentivized to pay transaction fees in BNB with discounts. Now, one of the reasons why I'm bullish on BNB is due to the growth of PancakeSwap. 
PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange and is the largest project built on the Binance Smart Chain. It allows users to swap between coins in a fast and efficient way. On June 6th, Binance Labs, which is Binance's venture capital branch, announced an undisclosed investment into Cake, PancakeSwap's utility and governance token. This is huge because PancakeSwap is the largest dApp on the Binance Smart Chain and brings over 400,000 daily active users in the BNB ecosystem. So this investment will really help fund the growth of both PancakeSwap and BNB in the future. There's also a ton of great projects built on the Binance Smart Chain, many of which I've covered right here on Fire Hustle. And last but not least, my third investment pick of this month is Kronos or Crow. This Ethereum-based coin is the native token of the Crypto.com platform. This open source blockchain aims to connect cryptocurrency users and merchants and support fast, efficient, and secure transactions. The first benefit that it offers is extremely fast payment processing with their target confirmation time being less than one second. You probably remember the old days of buying things with Bitcoin and having to wait for confirmations. Crow aims to fix that. And the first reason I'm bullish on this is due to their aggressive marketing and growth we've already seen from Crypto.com. The price of Crow is heavily correlated to the Crypto.com platform as a whole, and it's obvious to see that the platform has been scaling like crazy in the past few years. The Staples Center is now called the Crypto.com Arena after they purchased the naming rights for $700 million and have partnered with every major sports league on the planet, including Formula One. You may have also seen their ads with LeBron James and Matt Damon, and that's just naming a few. Right now, the exchange is nowhere near giants like Binance, FTX, or Coinbase in terms of total volume, but the Crypto.com team plans to continue to put their platform in a position to keep climbing up the ranks. Just recently, the platform announced support for using Apple Pay to purchase crypto. They've also recently been granted permission to launch their platform in Dubai and Singapore with a crypto license. One thing that I want to call out is that Crypto.com has been a part of the wave of layoffs that crypto companies and exchanges have experienced in the current economy. Despite the company laying off 5% of its staff, they're still one of the biggest emerging players in the space, and I see them coming out on top once the dust has settled. When it comes to the price of Crow, it's remained fairly stable around 12 cents for the past two weeks since the crypto market crash. Even in this market, the team continues to push forward and announce updates and new features consistently. With dollar cost averaging and Crow staking rewards, this is a solid buy for me around the 12 cent price. Now that I've covered three of my top picks, I want to talk a little bit more about risk management. Now, in order to have a solid investment portfolio, I always try to maintain some diversity. Instead of going all in into a project, I think about my risk tolerance and diversify my portfolio accordingly. I invest a small percentage of my portfolio into these projects and mostly stick to the blue chips like Bitcoin and Ethereum, simply because I think they're going to be around for a long time. However, at the end of the day, it really depends on your personal preference and how much risk you're willing to take. As always, you should only invest what you're willing to lose. And that's all folks. If you want to stay up to date on these projects, definitely check out their socials. I'll leave links to all of them in the description. Here on Fire Hustle, I make a commitment to have the most relevant information delivered to you quickly and always straight to the point. As always, if you have any projects that you'd like me to look into, let me know in the comments below. And remember, crypto is generally high risk and none of this is financial advice. My videos are a great starting point, but I definitely recommend you do your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.